Hi, I'm Chris Favre. I'm the web content manager at CFE Media and Technology. I'm here live at Modex in Atlanta to uh, learn the latest and greatest about supply chain, logistics, material handling, and more. I'm joined here at the Raymond booth with the president and CEO of the company, Michael Field. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. All right. Great to have you here. Thank, thanks. Likewise, great to be here. So, you know, we uh, at CFE, you know, we have almost 450,000 engineers in our subscriber base that actively work in manufacturing or construction. And, you know, 30% of that, so about 135K, are in the C-suite. Okay. And, you know, about 50% are end users and the other 20% are system integrators and consultants. And with that as the background, can you help me understand, you know, the unique value proposition of, you know, what Raymond is offering here at Modex as it relates to these different groups? So, Raymond has an over 100-year history of focusing on innovation, quality, and service. So really, you know, our, our focus is how do we solve people's problems? Mm -hmm. How do we understand deeply what our customers need? Right. And then how do we create the solutions that, that make their lives better? Sure. And thus far at Modex, so what have you been hearing from your customers? Like, what are they saying? Like, what are their pain points? What are their challenges uh, in their world? Is, and their, where, how, where are they coming to you for solutions? So there's many different pain points at this at this point. You know the the effects of, of kind of long term industrial COVID mm -hmm. um, are, are challenging. Um, labor labor challenges obviously are, are front and center, but also technology and supply um, challenges as well. So we've taken a very pragmatic approach mm -hmm. uh, relative to the development of the products that we have. Yeah, very high focus on that innovation, quality, and service. Mm -hmm. Um, really making sure that, for example, the technology that you're seeing moving behind us is very, very well tested. Yeah. Thousands of hours of reliability, mm -hmm. um, latest generation of technology, but it's all about the implementation. And, sure. And as an engineer, I actually have a, a PE license myself okay. and, and um, a master's degree in engineering. So I understand the challenges that, mm -hmm. that um, your readership faces every day yeah. and trying to apply technology like this. So we, we really want to make sure that we're focusing on understanding the processes they're trying to improve. Mm -hmm. So we have kind of a three-step approach, okay. optimize, connect, automate. Yeah. You know, the optimize phase is about deeply understanding your current process, mm -hmm. using lean management techniques to evaluate it and document it and standardize it. Yeah. Then we layer on top of that a connected piece of it using our iWarehouse solutions. Mm -hmm. So those iWarehouse solutions are telematics, real-time locating systems, yeah. as well as operator assist technologies to help those operators do their jobs better. Right. We also use that data then to go back and evolve those processes with them, looking yeah. for opportunities for improvement, removing waste, yeah. and then we look for opportunities finally after we deeply understand with that customer yeah. their processes, the chances and the opportunities for implementing automation. Right. You know, our approach to automation is not to sell you an automation project. Right. We want it to be a part of a process because right. if you do a project, you usually have a project manager. Yeah. That project manager is there for a set amount of time and then mm -hmm. leaves. Yeah. So the people that then own that process have yeah. a decision to make. Do they use that automated technology mm -hmm. or does it fall into disrepair and, and not used anymore. Yeah. So we want it to be a part of what they do every day. Yeah. I heard in a presentation yesterday, it's like, and it sounds like you want to make sure the process is a good one because if you automate a, a bad manual process, you're still going to have a bad process. It's yeah. just going to be automated. And you're just going to do it more repeatedly and sometimes faster. <laughs> but you're doing bad things faster. That's yeah. not good. Yeah. I know Raymond does a lot with many vertical industries. Uh, are there a couple in particular that you think would benefit the most from what you're trying to emphasize here at Modex? It's, it's pretty really applicable to anybody who is in the uh, warehousing or distribution uh, community, but manufacturing as well, because there's not very many uh, manufacturing facilities that don't have some sort of supply chain uh, and warehousing relative to their products. Mm -hmm. So it, it really is one of those approaches that we believe we make the best forklifts in the world, the mm -hmm. basic forklifts. Yeah. But we're really focused on helping 
our customers use the products correctly, yeah. using them to the best possible efficiency, um, employing things like lithium ion technology yeah. for very extended battery life and very yeah. quick charging. So it's all about, again, taking it back to understanding the process and improving it and, yeah. and driving that bottom line improvement for the customer. And improving your own technology at the same time and, make, and making it more sustainable, more yes. efficient, you know, because those are big watchwords. Yes. And, you know, what what about, you know, we, there's been so many changes in the last few years with manufacturing, you know, because of COVID and, you know, processes becoming more automated. But we're also seeing, uh, based on our research, you know, Manufacturing is coming home in a sense, where it's coming closer to where it needs to be. And is that? do you think that's true? And if so, how is uh, Raymond uh, adjusting to that? Well, I think it's very true. And, and you know, those basic principles of lean management and standardization fit perfectly with regrowing that capability yeah. of manufacturing domestically. Because mm -hmm. you need to train people. Sure. And they have to make high quality products. And if you'd have a very high quality process. Yeah. It's usually a very predictable and safe process. Yeah. So it all comes together and, and works well together. Yeah. Again, it, it's, you know, those basic engineering principles of understanding what you're trying to accomplish. Right. And then having a very good plan and process to manage that every time, mm -hmm. every day. So kind of close out if there's one message you want to you want to give to the people who couldn't be here at modex today you know what lesson or what advice do you have for them as far as you know what the future holds for manufacturing and how can raymond help it it really comes back to deeply understanding what it is you're trying to accomplish yeah we're, we're very happy and excited to help you better understand the current process you have um you know we're not here to just sell you more forklifts right we actually have a much better relationship with you when we help you understand what your process is. And sometimes yeah. you think you need 10 forklifts, but you might only need seven right. because the, the operation of those trucks is more efficient maybe than some of the competitive trucks. Right. But also we can help you with the operators to be much right. more efficient with the technologies we have. Yeah, you know, with the eye warehouse and what have you. You yes. have the intelligence network and yes. you know, the software. And the data to make good yeah. decisions. Right, and that that's what it always comes down to is like, yes. you, Whatever it is in the process, data is crucial, you know. Yes. And turning that data into information yes. that, you know, can better help engineers implement their operations. Yes. So, well, thank you very much, Michael. Thank I you. appreciate it. So, uh, thanks again to Michael and thanks to Raymond Corp for uh, hosting us here at Modex. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you can watch it on YouTube and many others like it at Plan Eng on uh, YouTube. And it will also be on our website, planengineering.com. I'm Chris Favreau, Web Content Manager, CFE Media and Technology. Thank you.